Now, residents of Lincoln Road in East Kingston say they are still reeling from the horrific murder of their 16-year-old neighbor, allegedly at the hands of her relative last weekend. And although, she's, although he's been arrested, they are questioning the motive behind the killing and demanding justice for the teen. Jamelia Maitland has that story. Well, it is very, very sad because it is first something like this ever happened in this home. And to know that it just happened like that, nobody knows what happened. Nobody knows what chick him off to let that happen. So it astonished everybody. 17 Lincoln Road would usually be buzzing with laughter from children playing. But when our cameras visited, the yard was lifeless. It's as if the time had stopped. The Luda game halted mid-play, Legos and corks still on the floor. It was here that 16-year-old Sarika Pickard was shot multiple times, allegedly by her granduncle Glenford Henry sometime after 5.30 p.m. Saturday. Residents say the community is grief-stricken. I was lying down right here because I just came in from church and I lied down here and I heard the shots fired. So I said, what is that? And when I heard it, the little girl said, Uncle Gilly, we killed Sarika. And he said, go and ask your mother. And he just walked out of the house. And he going through the gate. Even as neighbors were alerted, he was already making his escape, but not before shooting at two police officers who were responding to the crime. A passenger in a private vehicle was also shot. She has since been released from hospital. I observed them pull their guns and start firing shots. At the car. At the car. In the car, a matter of fact. All right. I was, I, I, um, a female companion was in the car with me. She got two shots and a glaze, which one left in her shoulder and the next one exited. Glenford Henry was arrested by the police after being on the run for two days. Residents are frustrated by the fact that he has not yet been charged. According to neighbors, he was quiet and had only been living there for a few months. They described the family as very cheerful at Sarika, a social media butterfly, who loved making TikTok videos with her friends. One of her last included a timeline on how long her loved ones would have missed her when she died. Little did they know her life would have been snuffed out a couple weeks later. We spoke with one of Sarika's closest friends who says she's traumatized. She continues to replay videos they made even up until minutes before she was killed. TVJ News tried reaching out to the family. However, they've asked for privacy at this time. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.